What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Coin Market Cap Daily on Thursday, the 7th of October. My name is Trev, and as always, make sure to like this video and stay tuned until the end as there's some stories you don't want to miss. Starting with Bitcoin hitting its highest price since May, more Bitcoin buys than withdrawals at Chivo ATMs in El Salvador. Then we'll go over if Mt. Gox victims will finally get their stolen Bitcoin. Shiba Inu surging over 348% in one week, the worst performing altcoins in September why Coinbase stock may be undervalued, and lastly, we'll talk about three reasons why Bitcoin's price surged yesterday and also why this may continue going forward. So if you're interested in that, make sure to stay tuned until the end. So let's dive into Bitcoin hitting its highest price since May. Bitcoin has experienced a sudden dramatic surge above $55,000 as October makes itself known. Bitcoin's price hasn't been this high for five months. And crucially, it has now reclaimed a market cap of $1 trillion. Although Bitcoin did cool after breaking through the $55,000 barrier, it has eliminated stubborn resistance of $52,000 along the way. And to put this into context, a further appreciation of 20% would mean that Bitcoin will be on the verge of breaking all-time highs of $64,800 set back in mid-April. Yesterday, Bloomberg analyst Mike McGlone said that the biggest surprise would be if Bitcoin and Ether prices weren't higher by the end of 2021. Predicting that $50,000 was to become support for Bitcoin rather than resistance. He even argued that $100,000 in 2021 is meager by the cryptocurrency standards. And if you truly want to know some of the reasons why this is happening, I'm going to be talking about that in an article towards the end, so stay tuned. Next, let's go over the recent news that shows there are more buys than withdrawals at Chivo ATMs in El Salvador. Naib Bukele says deposits to buy Bitcoin across the nation's network of 200 machines now outweighs withdrawals. Remittances where workers abroad send funds home to their loved ones also appear to be on the rise using Chivo. The president's latest figures suggest this now amounts to about $2 million a day. Bukele added, this is surprisingly so early in the game. Following widespread nerves about the adoption of Bitcoin as legal tender in this Central American country, Bukele may be starting to feel vindicated by his radical decision to put the cryptocurrency on par with the US dollar. Interestingly enough, every consumer who downloaded the Chivo wallet was able to claim a Bitcoin reward worth $30, and those who held since September 7th would have gained 10%. Based on Bitcoin's prices on each of these three days, at the time Bukele made his announcements on Twitter, the cost of this investment would have been approximately $34.5 million. Fast forward to now with Bitcoin trading at about 54500 and the value of El Salvador's holdings now stand at $37.8 million, resulting in a cool profit of $3.2 million in the space of one month. Next, let's talk about the past Mt. Gox hack and whether or not the victims may be getting some of their stolen funds back. Victims who lost Bitcoins in the notorious Mt. Gox hack have one day left to vote on a rehabilitation plan that could see them receive a payout. The doomed exchange collapsed in 2014 after being hacked on multiple occasions, and a total of 850,000 bitcoins were taken from the trading platform. Approximately 200,000 bitcoins were later recovered, and for several months, affected customers have been able to have their say on how the funds should have been distributed. Even though only 200,000 bitcoins have been recovered, this now has a cash value of $11 billion after the digital asset was propelled by the bull runs in 2017 and 2021. 23 times more than what the entire crypto stash was worth at the time. The chance to finally recover something from the Mt. Gox debacle is now, and the way is to approve the civil rehabilitation plan in the ongoing vote. A major worry centers on the fact that victims could end up receiving far less if the rehabilitation plan doesn't pass. Next, let's move on to Shiba Inu who's been having a massive rally. The meme coin which started life as a knockoff alternative to Doge has had an extraordinary week. CoinMarketCap data shows SHIB has surged 352% over the past 7 days. All this activity has propelled SHIB into the top 20 cryptocurrencies by market cap. At one point, its overvaluation meant it was bigger than the likes of Litecoin, Chainlink, and Bitcoin Cash 2. SHIB began life with a total supply of 1 quadrillion tokens. After launch, half of these tokens were locked in Uniswap and the rest were gifted to Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin. By sending this crypto stash to supply, Sheep's founder 
Buters hoped the tokens would remain untouched. But Buterin, who isn't all keen on Project sending random altcoins to his wallets, surprised many by donating it to a charity to help in the crisis of coronavirus in India back in May. This was a big deal at the time, as Buterin's 50 trillion sheep was worth a cool $1 billion. At the end of July, those running the crypto-driven COVID relief fund said that just $20 million worth of these tokens had actually been cashed out and distributed to those who needed it most. Next up, let's go over September and some of the worst performing altcoins. It was a month with a lot of FUD and unsettling news. Most notably, China's decision to ban trading on cryptocurrencies altogether. Then there was Evergrande, the giant Chinese property firm that began sliding into a debt crisis and that destabilized the whole market. Then there were signs that the SEC and others were coming down hard on crypto. Ether certainly had a bad time starting the month at $3,430 and ending it at $3,001, down about 12.5%, even including a roughly 5% gain on September 30th. Ethereum Classic was down 26.5%. Not that Bitcoin had it easy either, starting the month at $47,100 and ending it at $41,550. $50, down about 11.5%. Aren't you glad that's over? Speaking of things that are undervalued, some experts believe Coinbase stock to be undervalued. Owen Lau, an analyst at Oppenheimer, believes Coinbase will surpass revenue expectations and argues that the stock may be hugely undervalued. Coin closed Wednesday's trading session at $250.38, barely offering any improvement on the reference price of $250 that was set at the time of the company's IPO in April. However, Lau believes the stock has the potential to outperform in the next 12 months, setting a target of $444. That would be an increase of 77.6% from current levels. And according to CNN Business, the median forecast for coin between now and October 2020 stands at $337. That would involve an increase of 34.6% from current prices. The high-end projection suggests that the stock could surge 196.8% to $700. $143, while the most bearish forecast only anticipates a 12.1% slide to $220. Overall, 15 analysts rate Coinbase stock to buy, 2 believe it will outperform the market, 7 have a hold rating, and 1 recommend selling up. And finally, what you've been waiting for, let's go over three reasons why Bitcoin has been having a rally. The first one is excitement over ETFs is building up. Despite the SEC delaying a decision on four Bitcoin ETFs until later this year, optimism is growing that the US will approve an ETF this month. According to Bloomberg intelligence analyst Eric Balhunas, there is a 75% chance that the ProShares Bitcoin strategy ETF will be given the green light on October 18th. Approval of ETFs, especially those that are physically backed by Bitcoin, are seen as significant milestones. That's because of how it'll allow institutional investors to gain exposure to the cryptocurrency without having to own the underlying asset. Another development that turned heads on Wednesday was the news that a hedge fund controlled by the billionaire investor George Soros now trades cryptocurrencies. And the third reason is that it's October, it is Q4, and let's not forget about the crucial role of the seasonality that plays into Bitcoin's price. Over the past 8 Octobers, Bitcoin has secured double digit gains in all but two of them. Meanwhile, the fourth quarter tends to be the time when fireworks fly for Bitcoin. Just 6 days into the 3 months of the year, Bitcoin has gained 20 25.94%. By comparison, its price rallied up 168% between October and December 2020. Is there any other reasons? Let us know in the comment section down below. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to come back tomorrow for our newest video by of course subscribing to stay up to date with CoinMarketCap. And if you'd like to be notified when we upload, make sure to gently tap the bell icon down below. This has been your host Trev, and if you have any questions, just ask Alex in the description below. See you all tomorrow.